Well, today I got a couple of remotes in the old Steiger 480. That's a frame size 480 horsepower tractor. Uh, it's pretty small. Uh, I just use it for little stuff like tillage. Now it is pretty common for the uh, armrest controls for the SCVs to go bad. So we're gonna swap those out. First thing you gotta do is pull the uh, plastic handles off. They just pull straight up. I have two of them that are bad. I'll get those two swapped out and uh, we'll go from there. After you get the plastic piece off, the skirting off, there are two screws you gotta take off right up in there. There's one right there. The other one's right back there. Didn't show very well. There's two screws, there it is. There's that one, there's this one up here. You unscrew those and it comes right out. You disconnect it right here. You squeeze the sides and you pull that out. See the sides you just squeeze and it releases. And you pull that connector out. The two screws and it'll drop right out of there. Don't want to lose these little guys. Then they're pretty tight to start with, but after you get it started, they just spin right on out. The dog says, "What's up? What's up?" It comes out. Just like that. There you go. Here's the replacement, remanufactured part. There's part number right there. Oh so yeah, pretty common. There's a core charge on these. Make sure you send these back. So when you put these back in, I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. All you gotta do is line these up, put these two screws in this one here, and this one back here. It's hard to see. You just put the two screws in, it lines right up. The connector plugs right in. It only goes one way. So it's pretty simple. The, uh, the yellow wire, just like the rest of them, they all point towards the uh, door to enter and exit. So it's pretty simple to replace that. Not too bad, you just lay on your back and replace it. When you get done, you gotta put the skirting back around the armrest. And this is Probably taking this on and off is about the hardest part of this whole operation. Just gonna screw all these in. There's six of them. Now that you got the remotes in, it's time to reprogram the, uh, the remotes. You gotta calibrate them. It's not too hard. Let's see if we can get this done. First thing you do is you turn the key on and press and hold the program key. And that is what it lights up to be. Now we want to do the armrest, so you scroll down using the arrow keys. Down to arm, like a lot. Press the program key. And put the program key. Arm, you scroll down to aux lever. Press the program key again. Pull back on all remotes one at a time and latch in the rear detent. Each time, and then it shows the numbers as you do it. Press the program button again. Auxiliary retract. You press, this time you take the levers from the rear detent position, push them ahead to the front detent position one at a time. Not float. And as you do that, the uh, armrest, the A post shows that, one, two, three, four. Now I got them all to forward. And now you press the program button again.
After you're done with that, scroll back to exit, program, scroll down to exit, program, and there you go. Now we turn the key off. We're going to see if this works. Turn the key back on. I always like to wait for the uh, gauges and everything to cycle before I start it. I don't know why. It seems to start just a touch better. And it always does that wah. I don't know why, but it does. So now, we got it started. It's not showing the error when I before. It would always show when the hydraulics are running all the time. They're in neutral. And pull back. That goes the right way. That goes the right way. Yep, that's working. Number three is working. Sweet, got it. Well, there you have it. Now, if you want the uh, programming procedure written down, I have it here. There's one step, step I will point out that you need to skip. All right, you turn the key on while pressing the program button, scroll through until you hit arm, hit the program, scroll through till you hit the aux lever, program, screen will show aux extend, pull back on all the remotes one at a time and latch in the rear detent. And instead of an X on my tractor, it shows one, two, three, and four for each remote, as I showed in the video. Press program to continue. It'll show aux retract, push them forward until into detent, not float, into the forward position, and then press program. And then it does not show aux neutral. You are done. You just need to scroll through uh, until you hit exit. Push program, scroll through again uh, until you reach exit and press program again on the main menu as I showed there and turn the key off and start it back up make sure it works and uh, that's the full procedure hey thanks for watching hopefully this gave you some confidence if you like this thing you know make sure you uh, leave a comment subscribe and uh, give it a like uh, if you think I need to do something different let me know if there's a better shortcut to doing this uh, I couldn't find a video on it that's why I made this one so hopefully I help somebody else out let me know what you think thanks we'll see you Frame size 4, 80 horsepower. That's how they number them. I don't use it for much, just a little bit of tillage. Uh, I currently got a 26 foot disc on there. Uh, I will put the Dominator on it if it ever uh, thaws back out and the snow goes away. But uh, yeah, she runs. Nice ride. I don't know, seems to work. <laughs>